Today I'm going to be talking about editing this photo that I took a few years ago. There was a lot of mist out, but it was a nice scene. I liked this uh, bridge in the back, as well as this crane that happened to be out there. He was moving around, and I waited until he got into a certain t position to take that shot. And I also like these trees and the way they framed um, the bridge, which is the main subject. I was using my Nikon D7200. Uh, I was at ISO 100 an eighth of a second at f16. I wanted f16 just so I have a good uh, depth of field and I used ISO 100 so I have the best image quality and that left me with an eighth of a second to get a good exposure. So I was on a tripod to reduce uh, camera shake. So moving into editing, uh, I'm going to move to the develop module. I can either uh, press develop up here, or I can use the uh, keyboard command, which is just D, which is what I prefer to do. So now I'm in the develop module. And the first thing I do with all of my images, I've said in previous videos, is I go to lens corrections to adjust for whatever lens I was using at that time, but also adjust for chromatic aberration that, that might be there, and especially in the high contrast areas. Then I typically go straight up to the basic panel. And by the way, uh, in terms of the way this these panels over here move, if you prefer to see all of the panels at once, you can see they're closed here. You can always uh, right click here and move to expand all. And that way all of them will show up at once. I prefer to actually just see one at a time. So I use what's called solo mode. So the next thing that I'm going to do is set the black and white point in the image. I hold down my option key and move the black slider down until I start to see the areas that are pure black. And then I'm going to let go and leave it there. And then I'm going to go to the white slider and I'm going to hit the uh, option key again on the Mac and bring it up until I just start to see where it's blown out, then bring it back down so we don't have any blown up parts in the image. Now that I've adjusted the white and the black point, I'm going to take a good look at the image and just think about things that I want to adjust. I want to bring attention to the bridge. I like these trees out here and also the crane. If I look over here, I can see that the, um, the uh, grass and the bushes over here are just too bright and they're going to take away from um, these key areas here. So I'm going to darken those up and the ones over here as well. I also uh, want to add a little more contrast to these, um, the branches and the leaves out here, but not so much uh, further away because we want that sense of depth with the, um, the mist back there. So the next thing that I'm going to do is start making some targeted adjustments to the image. So I'm going to grab my uh, adjustment brush and I'm going to take a good look at the image here and see that, okay, I'm gonna come back here to the bridge and I'm going to paint over uh, the bridge area here and just under the bridge as well. And then I will have the ability to make some adjustments like raising the exposure. Also, I'll probably adjust the texture there as well. Now, down here, there's this check uh, show mask, uh, selected mask overlay. And that enables you to see exactly what's going on here when, when you're painting over uh, this bridge or anything on your image. So that can be helpful. Now, what I'm going to do is actually paint over three areas here, and I'm not going to uh, have make you sit through that. I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick, and come back and we'll talk about um, what we're going to, how we're going to edit each of those areas. And by the way, before I go doing that, if you hover over uh, these images uh, or these control points here, I'm going to go back and. Um, take that check away. But if I hover over this here, you'll see exactly uh, where you are painting as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and start painting these and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, we're back and I've made the adjustments to each of these areas that I was talking about. I actually gave each element a different um, uh, control point there so I can make adjustments individually. I might decide to add something different to the bridge or the uh, bark on the trees or the crane that's out there. So right now, if I hover over these points, you can see wh where exactly I painted over these different areas. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do is uh, adjust the bridge. So I'm going to bring the exposure up a hair and I'm going to bring the texture slider up so I can make that bridge just a little more brittle. Actually quite a bit more uh, brittle. I'm going to add a little clarity to it as well so we can bring up those mid-tones within the bridge. And uh, that looks pretty good. Now, one thing that I see that I didn't do is uh, I'm is actually paint under the, the bridge here. So I'm going to quickly do that. So I'm going to use the uh, right bracket key to um, increase the size here. That's one way to do it. Or you can just right click and bring it up um, uh, that way as well. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave these settings there because I want that uh, the same kind of brillness on these rocks here. You can see as I'm painting over there that it's starting to come out a little bit more. I'm going to do that in the reflection a little bit here as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is go to the trees over here. You can see where I painted those and I'm going to click on this to activate that area. And uh, again, what I'm going to do is definitely bring up the texture slider to uh, make those trees a little more brittle and bring up the clarity slider as well. Now I'm also going to bring up the highlights a little bit here and you can see what's happening there in the, in the trees. The right side of those trees, they're a little bit lighter uh, than that left side there the, with the way the, the light is shining on them. So that, that brings that out a little bit. So uh, that that's important there, I like that. I'm gonna bring up the exposure just a hair, okay? And now I'm gonna come down here and take a look at what that looks like when I turn it off using uh, uh, this lever here, which is turn off all the brush adjustments that I made. So that's what it looked like before, and that's what it looks like now. It just makes them a little more prominent. Now I'm going to activate the crane there and I'm gonna come way in here by pressing the space key. You see I get the plus there and I'm gonna come way in here and take a look at that. And there's not a whole lot I'm going to adjust there. I'll raise the exposure uh, on the crane a little bit. Um, the darker elements there, uh, the edges of the crane, I'm gonna bring the black area down. It came down too much there. So the darker areas of the bird, um, stick out a little bit and then the lighter areas of the, of the bird are going to be um, I'm going to bring those up a bit so we have much more contrast in there okay so so I'm going to hit done and we're going to uh, now I'm going to actually adjust the uh, colors here um, not, not the colors, but I'm going to adjust uh, the brightness over here. So I'm going to grab the radial um, tool and I'm going to bring that just right across here. And just try to get it as much as I can over that general area. And I'm just going to bring the exposure down a bit so it doesn't detract from uh, the bridge there. Now I'm going to right click on that adjustment and hit duplicate and I'm going to now bring it over here. So I have the same adjustment here. I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Move that over a little bit. Bring that in here. There. And I'm actually going to darken this one up a little bit more and extend this out. So that looks much better. Um, so th that's uh, all I'm going to do going to do in that area here. So I'm very pleased with this. So taking a closer look at the image, these trees in the background here, uh, I'm going to add a little more, more, a little bit more contrast. I think it's still too hazy looking back there. So I'm going to go once again to my adjustment brush and I'm going to go ahead and bring the, the contrast slider up and I'm just going to adjust those right there. You can see there's a little more life coming into those um, uh, leaves on those trees there. In there as well. Maybe a little bit more there and also along this area as well. Not going to touch these trees in the back. I'm just going to leave them for now like they are. I might bring them down a little bit later after I get a good look at what we've done so far. All right, this is looking pretty good. Now, the next thing that I want to do is take a look at the color portions of the image. I'm going to hit done here 
and I'm going to bring the vibrance slider up just to add bring some life into the color there and again I always use the vibrance sli slider first to get to those colors that are just less uh, prominent in the image but I also see that there's some interesting colors out here that I want to be uh, more noticeable. So I'm going to go down to the HSL panel and there's this targeted uh, adjustment area here. So I have saturation selected. I'm going to hit this targeted adjustment here. And if I come all the way in, this will allow me to click right on that color that I want to adjust. And if I move my mouse key up, you can see on the right there, the orange and the red are going up. I just want to add a little more saturation to those. I like the way that looks. Then I'm going to come over here to this purplish color as well and bring that up. Okay. And now I'm going to... Uh, it's a subtle change, but I, I do like that. That's much better. So there are a couple more things that uh, I would do with this is I would run it over to Photoshop because this area in the center here where we have uh, all of these unattractive um, and I see there's a duck there I'm going to get rid of too. But there are some things that need to be cleaned up. Uh, all of these areas in here, uh, you got a little stick out there. This doesn't fit uh, this light uh, log it looks like out there. So I'm going to move it over to Photoshop and make some of these adjustments. It's just it, the healing tool, tool and the clone tool just work so much better in Photoshop. And that'll clean it up a little bit more. And then uh, we'll have a, a completed image. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, the edit um, that I've done to this photo and I actually have this uh, the completed version hanging on a wall in my home and uh, I really like it a lot. It's a joy to see as I uh, go by that area of the house every day. So uh, if you have any questions uh, or comments uh, leave them down below and I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you on the next video.